What's good, everyone? And welcome back to the channel. This is Ghost Seven Five coming at you with another GTA What Five online video, and you guys see what this one's called. Now I'm gonna give you guys the how-to on three wheel on the Vapuccino. All right, probably on the passenger side, driver's side. No, wait, driver's side and passenger side. All right, and definitely shout out to homie out there uh, that's on the channel. This was a request video, so you go, bro, for real. And uh, everybody on the channel out there supporting the channel. Got much love for y'all, for real. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump in this car, and we're going to get right into it. And it's going to be like a... Uh, I'm going to say right now, if you guys are starting to do this, like get into it, um, the locks, you do not want to practice in this car, okay? Um... We might do some other type of locks, but yeah, you don't want to practice in this car. You want to practice in either Primo or the Tornado, okay? So we'll go ahead and just back the car up out here. And I might do a hand cam. Just stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to do it a different type of way, uh, meaning probably not use my thumbs on the controller. All right, and this is raw and cut. But I probably will use my index to give you guys more of a view. Um, still, you guys are going to have to practice. But it might help out to bros out there that might you know, not understand me as, as well or something like that. Uh, speak a different language or something, all right? So, um, first things, as always, as always, all right? We're going to look at the car. We're going to have to use the car like a clock, Okay. And I'll explain the timing also. But this car, when we lift it, it's got a lower lock to it. So when I drop it, you see how it kind of slaps? You know, like it's kind of hitting a frame off the ground. You know, it's, it's just got a low lock. All right. So like always, we're going to use the radio like a clock. Okay. So th in a sense, like a clock you tell time with. Um, you know, hanging on your kitchen wall in your shop, wherever it may be, all right? So, we'll start off, we'll do a uh, three-wheel. And we'll do a simple one, okay? So, this is going to be a seven. So, you see the car in the background. It's going to be a seven to one. And then a one back down to seven. Then we might do the uh, passenger, which is going to be a uh, five to eleven. And eleven to five. Okay, now this is not exactly like clock, but you get the idea. All right, see if it fits more locks in. Now, we could also look at the back bumper right here. We're going to do a, a driver's side. Now, this is going to be 7 o'clock, this back bumper. So, this would be where you pull down. See my front wheels? Where you pull down on your analog stick. So, it would be 7 o'clock. And you push up to 1. See him move to one. That's going to be your front bumper right here. One o'clock. Okay. So again, seven to one. Okay. Now I want to bring this up also. If you have a regular controller, all right. Don't know what that was, but whatever. <laughs> if you do, a, you have a regular controller. See if I can get it. You're not going to lift this car hardly off the ground at all. You're going to get that right there. That's with my analog stick in my controller. All right. So we're going to do this without the analog stick. So I got um, a video on the channel. Low rider playlist. Hit that up on uh, how to remove your analog stick. You put it back in and play. It don't do nothing to your controller. All right. Make sure you, you're using a good controller for this. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and drop the car back down. I'm going to take my analog stick out. Now, like I said, 7 to 1, basically. 7 to 1. Back corner bumper, driver's side to the front passenger bumper. Now, the timing is going to be hard on this car because the way it lifts and lowers. But basically, you want to move your analog stick to 7 to 1. So my front wheel's moving as fast as the car is lifting and lowering. And we're going to 
need to look for the dip on the car. Meaning, as soon as this car dips, see that fender well dip. Alright? So what we're going to do is pull back to 7. Okay? You could hold 7 and do whatever. You can get a feel for it. It's going to pull back to 7. And we're not going to tap X or hold it. We're not going to do that. It's just a kind of a press. It's as fast as this car is lowering and lifting. All the timing is. So as fast as you're moving analog stick and the X. Okay? And I held it a little bit too long that time, but I'm going to hold the 7. And then I'm going to press and go to 1. Okay? And this is the position you want in the car. Now if you dump this front fender or lean it to the side, start over. Okay? And if your car locks up on you where you can't do nothing, you either did something wrong in the process or just locked up, get out of the car and get back in it. Now you could drive and do whatever, like, you know, um, and still lock the car up the rest of the way. So now we're going to do a 1 to 7. 1 down to 7. So let me get back on the car right here. So we're going to do the front bumper right here. It'll be 1 o'clock, right? And we're going to pull back to 7 right here. Okay? And we're going to look for that dip. So I'm going to hold 1. Press X-ray. Alright? And we're going to let watch the car dip. In the, or as soon as it moves. And you're going to pull back to 7 as fast as the car lifts and lowers. Alright? So 1 o'clock. Press pull back to seven and there you got the highest lock on the uh, Vapuccino okay now we could do the other side I gotta do this side one more time so we're gonna pull back to seven this back corner bumper okay you're gonna press just press watch watch the car dip and go to go to one o'clock all right so seven press X-ray, watch card. It's locked up on me. Another thing, you can just lift and lower it if it locks up on you. So we're gonna hold seven, press, watch card dip, and go to one o'clock. Okay. Now we're gonna use the one o'clock front bumper to seven. So we're gonna uh, hold one, press, watch the car move or dip. And then pull back to seven. So one o'clock, press X, watch it move or dip, and pull back to seven. Alright? Now the driver's side, I mean the passenger side, my bad, is going to be a f it's gonna be a five. So instead of doing seven to one, we're doing five to eleven. Okay? And then eleven to five. So, we're going to be using this back bumper as 5 o'clock to 11, then 11 corner bumper to 5 back passenger, alright? So, we're going to hold 5 o'clock, make sure the car is lifted. We're going to watch, hold 5 o'clock, press X ray. I'm getting confused. Y'all getting confused yet? <laughs> and then we're going to go to 11 o'clock. I don't think I got a high lift, but we'll roll with it. Now we're going to hold 11. Okay. Press X. Watch car move. Come back to 5 o'clock. All right. So that was a little bit lower. See, my timing was off. All right. Now, if you got it like this, Hold 12 o'clock because you still got a third lock. It's hard for me to like explain every little part of it, but I know GTA 5 cars inside now. So if you hold 12 o'clock, you can still lift the wheel up. Okay, meaning if you look at the car like a clock, 12 o'clock, all right, all you're going to do is hold your analog stick to 12. Then you're just going to press X or A. 
okay and that's it so uh, we'll throw some other locks real quick so if you guys are wanting to do like uh, let's say a front lock it's a gonna be a two to eight in a sense so you're gonna be using the wheels to look at on your analog stick or the clock let's use the wheels it's gonna be a two this front wheel on your analog stick to eight so you gotta imagine the wheel like being in the position of your analog stick where you're going all right and then um, to do the rest of the front lock we're gonna be doing a 10 this front wheel to this back wheel right here four so I'll throw this in real quick so we're gonna go two all right and we're gonna do the same thing hit X press X watch card dip and then pull to eight okay two press uh, cars locked up two press eight okay now if you don't get a corner lock that's fine now for the uh, passenger side we're gonna go 10 press 4 okay so hold it to 10 press I think I messed it up see if you do stuff like that start over so I messed that up so I'm gonna go 2 press to 8 and then 10 watch card dip after you press and go to 4 all right so you got your high lock in the front okay so that's it so I hope you guys liked the you know enjoyed the you know tutorial shot to all you know bros out there again and uh, I'll be coming with some more stay tuned so uh, I'm out of here everybody out there everywhere have a good one for real peace